Hi, I'm Dr. Jason J. Campbell, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. In this video, I'm continuing my analysis into uh, Nietzsche's Will to Power. Uh, this is going to be section 8.3.1 of my notes, uh, and it's going to cover notes. Um, I forgot the notes that it's going to cover. I have it. I don't have it in the updated version, but it's going to begin with 189. I think it's 189 through 189 through 191. I think. Um, okay, with that, let's begin. So this is all the power. And this is section 8.3.1. And it's notes uh, 189 through 191. Okay, let's check. Um, so this is page 32 of the the, um, the notes. Again, as always, just you know, feel free to print out the notes. Click the banner; it'll take you to the PDF, um, and it's been updated. So um, you know, as new series begin, just make sure that you have the most updated version of the notes. The notes are getting pretty long um, already. I would imagine by the end of this whole thing, it'll be well over, maybe not well over, but it'll be probably over 100, uh, 100 pages. Um, we're probably approaching the halfway point. My goal was initially to do uh, 150 videos, which I can tell I'm going to go way past that, and 50 hours worth of lecture, and we're probably approaching 20, um, 20 hours of lecture now. So with that, let's begin the analysis. Okay, so we begin on page uh, 32 of the notes with a quote from the text. This comes out of note 189. And it's the following. The lying interpretation of the words, gestures, and conditions of the dying, fear of death, for example, is systematically confused with a fear of the after death. Okay, I'll read that again, and then I'll read it in context. Um, so 189. The lying interpretation of the words, gestures, and conditions of the dying, the process of dying, Fear of death, for example, is systematically confused with the fear of after death. What, what does that mean? Let's turn to uh, the text. Obviously, you guys know I'm using uh, Walter Kaufman uh, translation of Frederick Nietzsche's Walter Power. You can use whatever resource you want. Um, in talking with people, I've seen that there have been minor translation differences, but nothing too significant. Um, the line number... Uh, or note 189, the lying interpretation of the word gesture and conditions of the dying, fear of death, for example, is systematically confused with fear of after death, right? So this is this is important, and that's the entirety of the note, right? That's the whole of the note. Note 189 is a very small note, but what it lacks in, in sort of word count, it makes up for in profundity. It's a very profound um, statement. Now, what does this look like, right? So I decided to take some time and to try and truly make an assessment of what the significance of this, this note is, right? Because it's a very significant note. We've seen, recap just very briefly, in the previous few hours of, of lecture, that what Nietzsche is doing is he's attempting to identify within Christian dogma those ideas which are thought to be true because its truth has been contingent on basically mass appeal. So it has to be true because so many people believe it. And the very first thing that we discussed, which to my recollection was in Note 170, um, was the idea of the afterlife. The truth of the afterlife is, in a sense, demonstrated by the overwhelming belief in an afterlife by the globe's population. Like a humongous number of people, the overwhelming majority of people on the planet believe in an afterlife of some form, right? So the fact that so many people overwhelmingly believe in an afterlife then points to its truth. And Nietzsche is saying this is false. And I gave you uh, a really ghetto example of Santa Claus to sort of demonstrate how this is a definite conflation, logical conflation, right? Um, but how does this look? So I decided to draw an image to try and make sense of this, right? We have uh, the, the moral agent, if you will, here, right? And 
when we recognize that we are, in the Heideggerian sense, beings toward death, right? And I've talked about this in other video series, I think in my discourse on the occult, maybe, I think I discussed this, but death isn't an external force. And, you know, if I have time, I'm not really sure how long, you know, I'm going to be doing YouTube videos because I have... I have an intent in my YouTube channel, and once I have satisfied everything that I wanted to do, I'm going to stop doing videos. But I might possibly do a philosophy of death. It was one of the best classes I ever took, and so I look at you know um, Albert Camus and Philippe Arier and um, Jessica Mitford, uh, Elizabeth Kubler Ross, um, uh, Tolstoy. Uh, Tolstoy uh, all of these sort of incorporate into. A philosophical understanding of, of death, but the idea is death isn't a force that is external to us, right? It's not the case that here I am, and then death, death sort of forces itself on me, like the idea of the Grim Reaper, right? The Grim Reaper has, the Grim Reaper has the 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 scythe, and the the Grim Reaper comes to kill us, right? It's this external force that comes to destroy us. Were it not for that external force, I would live forever. That's not what death is, right? Death is an external force that comes to destroy us. Death is internal, right? Death is inside of us. We are inherently, as biological beings, the, the repositories, the containment of death. Death is something that's internal, right? And this idea of death, it's just a matter of time before the internal externalizes itself, right? So that death becomes manifest. Right? We can manifest death in the world. Right? And really, if you think about it, it's, it's more of a, conceptually, a give and take, right? Conceptually, a give and take. Biologically, physically, death is internal. Death is, we are dying the moment we are born. It's a pessimistic worldview, but it's, I mean, biologically speaking, it's, it's a more accurate way of looking at our lives, right? So... It's important to recognize that um, we are beings toward 